I mean, just we could list all the guys that played. I mean, we, we got contributions from all of them. So, you know, it, it's good good when you have guys like, you know, everybody's stepping up and, and playing really up. Um, a very competitive, productive game against a, against a great team like the Chargers today. You get to this point, there's very little margin of error, and you're going to have to be, uh, you know, good in all phases, running it, throwing it, kicking it, playing defense, everything. Have to do it again. Talking heads in the media, talking about how this is the end of the dynasty, you're going to fall off a cliff and become a bum and all this stuff. So, you know, I'm sure winning's sweet, but is it that little bit sweeter when you're constantly proving people wrong all the time? I just like winning. Chris Gasper on the left. On the left. I just like winning. Anybody in the media, and there are some people that are doubting the Patriots, I'm not sure what they're basing that on. <laughs> it's the most clutch team in sports history. There have been eight instances of a player rushing for a buck 25 and three touchdowns in a game in playoff history, including Sony Michelle. The Pats have combined for half of those instances, including each of the last three, when you count the two that LeGarrette Blunt put on the board in 2013 and 14. A familiar theme, Pat's winning, as Brady said, also a familiar theme, Philip coming up short. I wasn't my best today. Um, obviously, when you don't score more points than the other team, you're not. Um, but uh, we're going to fight till the end. I thought at least we could say we did that, and it uh, doesn't count for much uh, at this point. But uh, in the uh, big scheme of things, it counts a heck of a lot. I'm not sure if you can take anything away from this, I mean, from this, this one game today. You know, uh, we got a bus kick today, but uh, this we can learn a lot from this this year, this season, from one another. And uh, it's not a comfortable moment for us, for sure. But I think in these times, we can we can learn a lot about ourselves, and uh, and we can grow and be a better person and better teammate, a better coach. We ain't accomplished. We ain't win a Super Bowl. We ain't accomplished nothing. We got a long way to go. We we got to get back, get back, all season, work hard, OTAs camp and get back to a win accomplish nothing though i guess that's the kind of passion you want to see right the pats will travel to kansas city as you know for the afc title game and location 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 it's like real estate new england is six and one at home in afc title games under belichick brady in that era two and three on the road and they've lost all three all came against teams led by peyton manning so here we are. Jeff Saturday is here. Bottom line, let's look into this. James White. I mean, this mm. is a guy unbelievable, that right? has been unbelievable. He put himself in the record books today. 15 catches, postseason record, 17 targets. Wow. What did you see from him in the short passing game that just made this offense go? You know, we always talk about creativity with offenses. Josh McDaniels, I think, gets overlooked often in how he creates. And he created a screen, a screen game today, and it was a thing of beauty. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about right here. Now, right off the, right off the jump, you're going to have two running backs out of the backfield going to give you some motion to the left. What does that do? It puts these two players who are in man coverage, they're going to be running out this direction to make sure they cover. So these guys, they're going to be moving out here. So let's, let's watch the play as it develops. You'll see motion out, so we got one guy moving. You can see his eyes. He's looking to be man on man to man. We have the next the next player is sitting right here, and his eyes are back here watching the other running back, James White, come out of the backfield. Now, ball gets thrown. Look at this. Center Andrews is locked up. We got two big boys going to be going downfield, getting some big blocks, and we have an open lane for James White to be running. Now, watch as this thing continues. Andrews does a heck of a job. Look right here. Zoom. We got head down, feet above you, guys hitting turf. Now, watch my man Mason right here. Shaq Mason, watch him run as this play develops. Watch him run. Look at the speed. That's what I'm talking about. You talk about athletes in space? We're 20 yards down the field still running with DBs. That's what we do. It makes it easy for the running back. Just go finish, man. We've done all the hard work. Great design, great execution. Those big boys up front are absolutely making it happen. Now, come back to the next one. I love this. They're going to take advantage of Melvin Ingram and his pass rush style. We know he, he had a great game last week. He's going to try to come up, up inside. Now, Brown, who's the left tackle, understands he wants to get him to come inside, right? So he understands he's trying to push him in here, but watch how they design it. James White, he's faking like he's going to come chip. So, that, so Melvin sees it. You see his eyes. Melvin's looking right here at White. Now, watch him spin move inside which is going to make it super easy for Brown to take him inside. Look right there. We got him. He's blocked up now. 
Tooney, he's locked up. Again, we got two more guys. We're coming down here. Now the athletes are out in space. Watch them finish. James White's going to get the ball. Bang. Another guy. Zoo. Head down, hitting the mat. Feet up in the air. We got Andrews up top blocking. We got receivers blocking. This is as easy as it gets for a running back, man. Just go get your yards. From a first and 20 to converting 25 yards to make it first and 10. Listen, McDaniel's design, it's all, not always jet sweep. It's not always, They played physical football, but their screen game today was phenomenal. And the execution, man, it paid dividends. Going back from first to 20, getting those conversions, third down conversions, they did a heck of a job with that screen game in James White. And that's just part of the reason the Pats are heading to their eighth straight wow. AFC title game, extending their own record. It, we almost say it like it doesn't have a lot of verb it, because it's become so commonplace, yes. Jeff. But it is truly remarkable, as is this most receptions in a playoff game. White, as I mentioned, with 15. He puts himself in the record books. Brady actually looked at him, as I mentioned, 17 times. Man. So you got Gronk, you got Edelman, you got Dorsett. You got, he was looking at White, which leads us back to Brady. He was amazing on third down today. Nine of 11 for 72 yards and a touchdown on the money down. Yeah. What did you see today on third down? And listen, you just said it. We're, we're numb to how good right. the Patriots right. are, right? We're numb to it. We just, hey, they're in another AFC championship, eight in a row, no big deal. We're, we're numb to how good Tom Brady is on third down. I want you to look at third and three, right? Make sure we understand what we're going to do. Again, creativity by, by uh, uh, Josh McDaniels. Now, Brady sees coverage is going to be right here for his running back who just happens to be an actual wide receiver, Julian Edelman, okay? So good design. They're going to motion Edelman out of the backfield, and he's going to get it. Now watch what happens to the backside. We'll flip an angle, and watch as he motions out. You see it right there. Now, here's the coolest part of the play. They're going to clear with Gronk, right? So they understand they got man coverage, so Gronk is going to hit that, and Edelman's going to push to get out. The, the, the thing they understand is this man is still in control of Edelman. So watch as the play develops. Look right here. Gronk has one, two guys who are now having to go over the top to cover Edelman, who's going to have a nice break. Now, look at Tom Brady. Ball is up. He's ready to throw. He knows where he's going to go with the ball just from the way the play has developed. Watch, foot hits the ground. Ball comes out. Easy pass, easy completion. Third down conversion early in the game. That's a big swing for the Patriots. You're always looking for it. Now, third and four later in the game. Again, we, it looks like it's going to be man coverage, right? We're sitting right here, so you'll see as the play develops, you watch. He understands that he's going to get a slot blitz. So he's going to get slot blitz coming off the edge. Watch how fast he finds Gronkowski down here in the bottom. So you, he knows he's going to take a shot. He can feel that presence, but look where his eyes are. He knows that Gronk is coming out of his break right now. You see Gronk's going to be right here getting creation. But this is the, this is the most remarkable part to me. You got a guy bearing down. 40-year-old quarterback, all the things we're talking about, don't get numb to this. How much presence and how much courage it takes to stay in the pocket and deliver this, No one you're going to get hit, and then look at this after the catch. Gronk, no, no. He's old, he's beat up, he's going to retire, he's all these things. Guess what? He's not doing it until after the season because right now he's playing good ball. But again, I think we, I think we undervalue how good Tom Brady is on third downs. And when you talk about 9 of 11, in a playoff game, in your house, against what everybody's talking about is the most competitive team you're going to face all year. He shows up in the biggest moments. Give Tom Brady a ton of credit. The question is, will the Pats show up next week on the road where they've had problems this year? Pats, Chiefs, AFC title game. Jeff back in a little bit with his first blush thoughts. The yeah. winner to the Super Bowl. Look forward to seeing you then. Appreciate you. Okay. There to witness the pounding in person. Even more coverage with our Jeff Darlington. Yeah. He joins us from Foxborough. So we just spent a bunch of time talking about how great James White right. was today. What were the Pats saying powered this epic Russian performance? Well, James White certainly had something to do with it out of the backfield, but Bill Belichick pointing out that really everybody, when asked about Sonny Michel, had something to do with the contributions of this team. Sonny Michel pointing out that the offensive line was absolutely outstanding in this game. But let us not forget about Sonny Michel himself 126 yards, three touchdowns in the first half, and really what he was able to do is what set up the play-action pass and ultimately provided Tom Brady with plenty of protection. It's the reason why Tom Brady was very happy about Sonny Michel's performance. He had a great game, and he's, you know, he's just had a great year. He's just, you know, battled and fought hard. I, I, know I really love 
you know, Sony as a person and uh, his commitment to the team. And he's just been a lot of fun to be out there with. And he's making a lot of hard yards. And, uh, you know, he had a great game today. Great to see. It's all about trust and patience. Um, you know, we got faith that coach going to call the best play possible for us to succeed. And um, guys going to take pride in executing the play. The offensive line, the receivers, everybody going to do their job. Um, and it's our job to, you know, do our job. Uh, and I think today, guys did a great job of doing that. Sony did a great job running Rex, too. So, I mean, we just have a great offense, and guys don't care who get the credit. Each week is different. It could be somebody has a big week one week. Next week, you may get two targets. So what? You just go out there and play as long as we get a win. Now, here's the real question. Can Sony and Michelle continue to do it? They got Michelle going at the perfect time. Going into this Chiefs game, Patriots players telling me in the locker room that they know Michelle is going to have to grind out a lot of, a lot of yards, kind of have to eat these drives very long to keep Patrick Mahomes off the field. It worked very well against the Chargers. We'll have to find out if it works against the Chiefs as well. Yeah, you mentioned the word question. I think the Chargers have a question, too. They were very frustrated in the locker room yeah. after the game. And their defense, which has been great all season long, now looks like they were exposed a little bit and some improvements are going to be coming in the offseason as you kind of take a look at just how much the Pats just took it to the Chargers. These are some gory stats for sure that they're going to be looking at Anthony Lynn and company. What improvements are we talking about here for the Bolts? Well, I mean, when you look at the fact that this team last week against the Ravens were basically called geniuses for the fact that they were using uh, seven defensive backs and four defensive linemen with no linebackers. And that really worked well against Lamar Jackson to contain his speed. But this time around against the Patriots, it didn't work at all. And they were trying to do schematically a lot of the same things. And you could tell in the locker room, Melvin Gordon saying that we couldn't stay on the field long enough on offense and we couldn't get off of it at all on defense. And that truly was the story of this game, partly due to that schematic issue that this Chargers team has. So it looks to me like they're going to have to really focus on that linebacker position in the offseason, fix that up, because without those linebackers, this team cannot stand up against a team like the New England Patriots. And you are going week to week with a different game plan. It always seems to work for the Pats. Yeah. It did not work for the right. Chargers. That's Jeff Darlington at Foxborough, where the Pats are now headed to Kansas City with a great rushing performance behind them. Let's rush off to the NBA for the game of the day. Raptors, Wizards.